Hello everybody, peace be upon you. This is Mr. Muhammad Talha and you're watching Learn English with Mr. Talha. Today, inshallah, we're gonna talk about another two letters. These letters are J and K. And don't be mistaken and say J and K. It's not J or K. It's J and K. So please take care. It's called J. J and K. K. Don't say J or K. So let's start with the letter J. J. So the letter J, but the sound is J, J, J. Again, the letter is J, but the sound is J, J, J. Let's take some examples with words that have the sound J at the beginning. J, J. Jam, ja, ja, jam, ja, ja, jar, ja, ja, jar, ja, ja, jet, ja, ja, jet. So let's see how I write the letter J on the lines. Let's start with the uppercase J. And see how I write it on the lines. When I find four lines, I must tell my child that I'll start at the top and go down like that. Then curve it at the bottom like that. On the three lines. And then make a straight line, a sleeping line across the top like that. It's a J capital or uppercase J. Again. I'll start at the top, at the first line, then go down, 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 down to the third line, curve it at the bottom, like that, and then make a sleeping line at the top, like that, across this line. It's a J capital. Let's see how I write it on the three lines. I'll start at the top, go to the third line like that, curve it at the bottom, then a sleeping line across, like that. Again. At the top, go down, curve it at the bottom, like that, then a sleeping line across at the top. When I write it on the two lines, I'll start above the two lines, above the two lines here. I'll start here, then go down to the second line, make a curved line like that, and then a sleeping line across at the top. Again, above the two lines here. I'll go down to the second line, make it curved at the bottom like that, and then a sleeping line across the top like that. When I write it on one line, I'll start at the top. It will be on the line. Don't go under the line. So I'll start here at the top, go to the line, make it curved at the bottom, and then make a sleeping line across the top like that. Again, I'll start at the top, then go down the line and make it curved at the bottom, and then a sleeping line across the top like that. It's a J capital. J capital. J capital. And don't forget, it's J, not J. Now let's see how to write the J small or the lowercase J on the lines. When I find four lines, I'll tell my child that. I'll start at the second line like that and go to the fourth line like that. Then make it curve at the bottom and put a dot here like that. Again, I'll start at the second line, then go to the fourth line, the fourth line like that, make it curve at the bottom and then a dot here. When I write it on the three lines, I'll start at the second line. Go down, go down the third line like that. Then make it curve at the bottom. Then put a dot here. Again, I'll start at the second line. Go down the third line. Make it curve at the bottom. And then a dot here. When I have two lines, I'll start at the first line. Go down the second line like that. So 
the J small will go down the two lines. And then put a dot here. I'll start at the first line, go down the second line like that, make it curve at the bottom, and then put a dot here. It's a J small. When I find only one line, I'll start at the top of the line, above the line like that, go down, go down under the line like that, make it curve at the bottom, and then put a dot here. Above the line, go down the line, then make it curve it at the bottom, and then put a dot here. It's J small, and this is the way we write J capital J small on the lines. Let's go to our second letter today. It's called K. K. So it's called K, not K. K. There is no K in English. So you must say K. The letter is K, but the sound is K. 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 And it's a voiceless sound. K. 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 Let's have some examples with words that have K sound at the beginning. Key, kite, kite. So let's see how I write K capital and K small or uppercase K and lowercase K on the lines. When I have four lines, I'll tell my child that I'll start at the first line and go down with a straight line to the third line like that and then from the second line i'll go with the diagonal line to the top and another diagonal line to the bottom like that it's k capital k capital again when i have four lines i'll tell my child that i'll start at the first line then go down to the third line and from the second line, I'll go up with a diagonal line like that, then go down with another diagonal line like that. It's K, capital, K, capital. So when I have three lines, I'll tell my child that I'll start at the first line like that, go down to the third line like that. And then from the second line, I'll go up with a diagonal line like that, and then a diagonal line to the bottom like that. Again, I'll start at the top, then go down to the third line. From the second line, I'll go with a diagonal line to the first line and another diagonal line to the second line, like that. When I have two lines, I'll tell my child that I'll start above the two lines at the top, like that. Go down to the second line, and from the first line, I'll go up with the diagonal line, like that and another diagonal line like that to the bottom again from the top i'll go down to the second line and then from the second line i'll go up with a diagonal line diagonal line and another diagonal line to the bottom like that it's k capital k capital when i have only one line i'll start at the top and we see that all capital letters will be on the line. When I write K capital here, I'll start at the top, go down to the line, and then from the middle, I'll go up, and then go down with a diagonal line like that. Again, I'll start here at the top, go down to the bottom, and then from the middle, I'll go up with a diagonal line, and then go down with another diagonal line. It's K capital, K capital, K capital. So what about K small? K small. When I write K small on the four lines, I'll tell my child that I'll start here from the first line, go down to the third line. Then here between the two lines, I'll make a diagonal line, a small diagonal line to the Second line and a small diagonal line to the third line. It's called K small. Again, I'll start from the top, go down straight to the bottom. Then here between the two lines, I'll make a diagonal line to the top and a diagonal line to the bottom. 
When I have three lines, I'll start here at the top, then go down, 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 down. And between these two lines, I'll make one diagonal line to that second line and another diagonal line to the third line, like that. Again, I'll start at the top, go down like that. And between the two lines here in the middle, I'll go up to the second line, then go down to the third line like that. It's K small. When I have two lines, I'll tell my child that I'll start at the top, go down to the second line. And then between the two lines, I'll stand here, go up to the first line with a diagonal line, and then go down with another diagonal line like that. Again, I'll start here at the top, go down to the second line, and from the middle here between the two lines, I'll go with the diagonal line to the first line and another diagonal line to the second line. When I have only one line, the K small will be on that line. So I'll start here at the top, at the top, then go down. Then here, I'll go with a small diagonal line and another small diagonal line to the bottom. Again, I'll start here at the top, go down to the line. Then from here, I'll go with a small diagonal line, then another diagonal line to the bottom like that. So this is the way we write K capital K small on the lines. I hope you understand how you write J capital J small and K capital K small on the lines. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, and don't forget the bell so that you can watch all our episodes. Goodbye. Salam alaikum.